Hi guys, thanks so much for joining me. I've had so many requests to do my makeup collection and how I currently store everything. So after Maria um, was on my Facebook page and I posted that I had just completely went through and did a big clean out and got everything cleaned up, straightened up, reorganized and in good shape. She said, please, please, please show us your collection. So Maria, I am definitely going to be doing this for you especially, but I know a lot of you out there have asked me to do a collection video. I definitely don't have the largest collection by any means. I would say I have about a medium sized collection. Definitely more makeup than most people would consider one person would need, but it's mine and I like to try new things. This is my hobby. This is what I love to do and I use up so much of my makeup that my collection actually would be a lot larger um, if I didn't use products up regularly. So I'm going to go through and I will take you step by step through my collection. I'm not going to be doing any swatches and things like that. Um, if you want any more detailed information just let me know and I will be happy to do so. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy this video. I'll see you soon. So I'm going to show you around a little bit here, show you the setup, and then we'll go through my collection and how I have it set up. Over here on this side is all my side of the bathroom. You can see over here I have my built-in vanity, I have my cart, I have my dressing mirror, and everything set up over here so that I can have my own area with all of my stuff to do whatever I need to do. So, hi guys. This is where I will check my outfits, make sure everything's all put together, and looks good for the day. You will have to excuse the way I look. Um, I recently took a shower and I'm waiting for my hair to dry. I try not to blow dry it any more than I absolutely have to. So, it is what it is, but I do have my makeup on. This is where I keep my blow dryer. Um, I have a little hook up on the wall here and then I just hang it up when it's not in use so it's out of the way. It doesn't get messed up or anything like that. There's my little stool. I'll give you an overview of the vanity. Hi. Um, this is my makeup mirror. I got this from uh, Alta, I believe. It, it does light up. It is two-sided, so it has the magnified side and then the standard side. Okay, so to make it easier, I did go ahead and turn the cart around the other way. I usually use it facing the side, but just to make it easier to get into the drawers and things like that, I went ahead and turned it sideways. Um, up here I keep some of my most used body sprays and I have my three clean scents here. Uh, this one is warm cotton. This one is fresh laundry. And this one is cotton t-shirt. I really like to use these when I know I'm going to be around somebody that has issues with perfumes because they tend not to irritate people that have allergies. This is where I keep my q-tips and my cotton balls um, and I got this particular container from CVS. And then here is the bottom drawer of my three drawer cart. This is where I keep my brushes, I keep my extra toothbrush covers, my extra eyelash curlers, extra shaving heads, extra Blistex, hand creams, um, skin care that I haven't broke open yet, um, different body washes, bubble baths, 
uh, mascaras. I keep any packaging that I want to keep for future reference down here as well so it's out of the way. And then this particular bag, I have some extra cosmetics and I just think it's easy just to throw it in here. I have an extra eyeliner from Ulta. I have a uh, Smashbox Hyper Lash, Bobbi Brown Mascara, and this is the Extreme Party Mascara, a backup single of Brulee, I have a Lash Injection from Too Faced, A Benetint from Benefit Cosmetics and two primer potions in there. Um, I also have some extra travel razors and round brushes, combs, cuticle sticks, an extra loofah back here. Uh, and I think that's it in this drawer. All right, now on to the fun stuff, the makeup. Um, this is obviously my tripod and mirror that I use with my camera whenever I'm filming. So it just sits up there so that I can see what's going on and do my tutorials. All right, so this little container has my eyelash curler, my eyelash comb, my fan brush, a cuticle stick, some little detail brushes that I don't use all the time, my scissors, some eye brushes that I don't use all the time, a lip brush, an angled brush, a concealer brush. This brush actually I use to put on my face mask so that I get a good um, even application without having to get my hands all messy. This is my little Kabuki brush by e.l.f. And in this little bag, it's by Too Faced, I keep all of my Urban Decay Cream eyeshadows. And I keep a CoverGirl Intense Shadow Blast that I have. Um, which is a primer and a shadow. It's okay. I use it as a primer sometimes, but it's not my favorite thing by any means. I love these particular um, cream eyeshadows by Urban Decay. I have Delinquent. I have Whipped. I have Suburbia. Asphalt. And Moonshine. So I just keep these in here so that they're easy to get to when I want to use them. I tend to use them as bases. And then here we have Feminine Palette by Urban Decay, which was one of my Christmas gifts. And it has six colors. And then the liner. This palette is the 24K Eyes, Lips, and Face palette that they came out with. Um, I haven't really used it yet. But I like the colors that are in it, definitely. They're, you know, very pretty colors. I'll hold that up so you can see it a little better. This is my Winterberry palette um, by Coastal Scents. And that's what the colors of that palette look like. This is from BH Cosmetics. It's the 88 Matte palette. And those are all the beautiful colors in there. They're all matte or satin finishes. And then we move over here. And this is where I have my most used brushes set up right now in three little jars. Um, I'm still in the process of revamping all of my storage. But I don't want to do it until I know exactly what I want. So I'm just kind of finding ways to store everything right now that works for the moment. Face brushes, full size eye brushes, and small eye brushes and detail brushes. And then these stand up by themselves, so I just leave them. And then, them of there. course, this is my Tarte uh, Starlet palette um, that they came out with. And I keep it up here. I keep everything nice and neat and protected and organized in it so that it's very easy for me just to take it down and use it when I want to. 
Then, of course, we all know this particular palette, and it is the Tarte for True Blood palette. And you can see it, I use it quite often. And then, of course, the Naked and Naked 2 palettes. I have gone ahead and removed the brushes from them and added them to my collection. And this is the Naked 2 palette. Um, you can see one of them has a casualty. I put my nail in it when I was opening it. This is the NYX Makeup Artist Kit that I had picked up a while back. Um, these are all of the shadows that come in this particular palette. And then it slides open. And down here you have face, pro face products like highlighters and bronzers, blushes. You have some little brushes and things there that I, I don't use, so I just leave them in there. And then these are all lip glosses and lipsticks, which I don't use either because I don't really like those I kinds. have my um, Happy Birthday Beautiful Philosophy body wash and shampoo, my Sweet Pea set, um, my bath crystals. This is a wonderful Sweet Pea smelling candle. It looks so pretty sitting up here. And then this is just a cup that I have that I put brushes that I don't use or that need to be cleaned. This is where I keep here. all of my eyelashes my extra sponge tips so I have them if I want them, um, little brush guards and things like that all go in this top drawer. This drawer is some more of my polishes, ones that I don't necessarily use on a constant basis so they are kept in here. This drawer has all of my liners and um, a few mascaras that I don't use all the time, um, my lash glue, um, lip liners, I have the, the Black Magic, I have some Jordana, I have the liquid eyeliners from Colorstay, I have some Smashbox liners in here, uh, let's see, my brow from Perfect. It's um, Brow Perfection Gel. Um, my True Blood Eyeliner. Some Elf Eyeliners. Some Jordana Lip Liners. Um, an Avon Eyeliner. Just a good variety in there. These are all of my lip glosses that I have right here in this drawer. I have some Buxom lip glosses some e.l.f. lip glosses, Sally Hansen lip plumper, uh, CoverGirl lip slicks, some L or some Wet n Wild lip glosses, a Crazy Rumors candy cane lip balm, and then I have a uh, Cherry Culture Lip Balm and Bubble Gum. I have my Tarte Lip Surgeons in Moody. I have some Smashbox lip glosses. Little mini lip glosses. This one is from Anastasia. I have my Urban Decay lip glosses. A, another Tarte Lip Surgeons in Enchanted. So just a good variety of different lip glosses there. And these are all of my lipsticks. I have um, an Urban Decay mini lipstick. I have a Kat Von D mini lipstick. I have some of the Buxom from Bare Essentials. Um, these were big and healthy lipsticks that came with my Mix and Mingle set. And then um, Outlast Lip Stain. I also have a, a Hard Candy Gloss and Stain here. And I love this color, but because it's so glossy, I put it up there with the glosses. Alright, so here's an overview of my 
vanity drawer where I have the majority of what I use on a daily basis stored. I'll start over here. I have my e.l.f. high definition powder. I have my spackle tint and glow by Laura Geller. Some uh, foundations including my healthy skin. I have CoverGirl True Blend Minerals in here, um, an extra kabuki brush that I don't like, a face powder, and some more foundations going back there. The next little compartment that I have here is all of my face stuff, basically. I have my primers, I have my cheek stain from Tarte in flush, an e.l.f. Uh, facial whip, concealers. This one is the um, Boing Eye Bright um, by Benefit. You have a Maybelline concealer, a Revlon Photo Ready concealer. I have my Age Rewind, of course, Erase Paste. I have Visine. I keep a little small bottle in here so that if I need to put some in my eyes, it's right there. My Milani Pencil Sharpener. This is an Extreme Wear Cream Blush by Ulta. Um, this is my Too Faced Primed and Poreless. I have a small Smashbox Photo Finish in here. Some little spatulas, a little brush if I need it for um, putting on face things like that. Um, I have my Bare Minerals in Bisque. in Summer Bisque and I use that under my eyes. I have my Laura Geller Balance and Brighten and Tan and the Laura Geller let's see what she calls it Shade and Sculpt. I really like the coloring of this but it does have some sh shimmer in it so it's kind of um, weird that you're going to contour with something with sparkles. Um, but I really like the highlight that's in this one. I have my Milani bronzer. And this one is in light. And then I have my Rimmel natural bronzer. And this one is in sunlight. Then in this drawer, we have all of my gel and cream eyeliners. I have Physician's Formula, I have Tarte, I have Ulta, the, uh, let's see, the L'Oreal Hip, and another color in the Ulta one. I have my Urban Decay Protest right here that I'm got in here because I want to put it in a different container. This is After Prom and that's what the packaging looks like. It's by Glamour Doll Eyes and it's just a really pretty color. I hope there's enough light down here for you guys. Um, this is a Blossoms Eyeshadow in Enchanted. And it's a really pretty brown color. And then I have a green color by Blossom called Dreamy Girl. My NYX HD Primer. My Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer. My Primer Potion from Urban Decay. My Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Um, my Tweezers. And then we have the Illegal Lengths Mascara, Almay Get Up and Grow, the Professional Super Thick Lash by CoverGirl, and then two of the Lights Camera Lashes. This is an all-natural body scrub that I got in Florida when I was down visiting, um, and it is a... Uh, if you look there, it's got the ingredients of what's in it. And this stuff is just so wonderful. And it's gardenia scent. And it's like a salt scrub, basically, with uh, for your body. 
my Finding Mr. Bright set, and the only thing that I have taken out of this is the erase paste. Everything else I leave right here in it just for convenience sake. Then here I have all of my blushes. Um, I have a Blossoms All Natural Mineral Blush and Plum Blossom. I have the Milani in... This one is the Fantastico Mauve. And then I have my Translucent Mattifying Powder by e.l.f. I have the Blush and Bronzing Powder. I have a Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips. And this one is the Waikiki Peachy Glow Bronzer. The Milani Baked Blush in Coralina and a Milani Minerals Blush and this one's in Mai Tai Heather Silk by Wet n Wild this one is one of the Color Icon Blushes by Wet n Wild and it's Mellow Wine This is a Fit Me blush, and it's in medium coral. And then I have a studio line of the e.l.f. blush in Blushing Rose. Then here I have my cream eyeshadows that I have. Um, all of my new Maybelline Tattoo eyeshadows. And there will be a full review. I... I think I'm going to put that up before the collection, so you've probably already seen the review on this. If not, it will be up in it very shortly. This is an e.l.f. cream duo. This is a glitter gel, and I love the little shoe that's on it. If you guys can see that, it's so cute. Um, it's so hard to read. It's by, it looks like Jasmine LaBelle. So if you were asking who this is by, that is who it is by. Um, I know, Cynthia, you were asking, so hopefully you see this and you can read that. It's actually a lot easier to read there. But it's just some glitters that I got around Christmas. This is one of the um, iStudio by Maybelline sets, and this particular one is Caffeine Rush. I love this set. It's got a really pretty taupe in it. And then my Wet n Wild Trios. We're blasting off. This one is I'm Getting Sunburned. This one is Knock on Wood. I hate it when they put the stickers right in the middle of the trios. Walking on eggshells. And Don't Steal My Thunder. So those are the trios that I have, and I keep them right here. And we're in the home stretch here with the final drawer. This is where I keep all of my perfume samples that I use so that they're protected because a lot of them are glass and I don't want them rolling around. I have two NYX pigments, one in Penny and one in Space, so really pretty colors there. These are my Go palettes. I have the London palette, the Moscow palette, the Beijing palette, and the Sydney palette. This is a CoverGirl Eye Brightening Shadow Palette in its Vivid Green 705. And then the Vanity uh, Six Pan Palette from Wet n Wild. And then I have three of the Runway Eyes Palettes by Milani. Um, let's see. This one is the Fashionista Pinks. 
designer browns. Backstage basics of the uh, Milani runways as well. This is my little Sephora set that I showed you in my Christmas haul. And then the last two things are two of the Wet n Wild 8 pan palettes. Of course, I have Petal Pusher and Comfort Zone. So there's my makeup collection, and I really hope you enjoyed seeing it. I know I don't have like a ginormous collection or anything, um, but I had quite a few requests to do the video, and so I wanted to go ahead and give you guys a look at what I have currently. I'm sure over the next year it's going to grow a lot. It usually does. I would have a much bigger collection than I do if it weren't for the fact that I use things so much. So I really hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day everyone. Bye.